so hello everyone in this video we'll be working on uh, creating the register route and how uh, this user schema will be used basically so before uh, doing uh, like writing the schema i have to use one more thing in here that before saving the password we cannot directly save the password in a text format so because uh, everyone can see that password right so we have to uh, encrypt it encrypt this password somehow so before saving anything in the uh, database or in the collection of the user i have to encrypt this password so to encrypt that i have installed this uh, bcrypt uh, package you can also install it you just have to write npm install bcrypt and then that will be installed after the installation what you can do is you can require this package in here at the top i can require it as bcrypt uh, you can require or basically you, you can import it now what uh, I have to do is uh, in this user schema there is a pre method so that I can use before saving anything in the uh, database collection or basically this user collection I have to do some operation right so I have to encrypt this password into hash so I can make use of this pre method and before saving anything I can uh, basically write any asynchronous function and in this asynchronous function we get this uh, next method which is nothing uh, but uh, tells us that if uh, your operation is completed you can uh, sh uh, shift the operation to the next next operator or next operation which is uh, done by the mongodb or mongoose so this pre method will allow us to do some operations before saving anything in the uh, collection actual collection so we can uh, let's say user has entered some password we can hash that password or we can uh, do anything with these fields which is entered or before saving the them into the collection first of all I'll be creating a simple constant variable called user and this I will be storing inside this user so it makes more sense to store this in user so that's why I'm using instead of this I'll be using user right so first of all I have to make a check that if not user dot is modified so what is this is modified it tells us that if uh, uh, the data is new basically it is not isn't it isn't modified earlier but it is a new data or it is a fresh data then only we have to uh, do this operation or hash this password otherwise it will uh, again hash the hashed already hashed password so you don't have to uh, hash the password again so so it will do this operation only once when the data is fresh or whenever the data is new at the first time while registering only so if someone is updating then it will not uh, run this uh, pre or it will return to the next operation which will be which will be making it that so it will not do it for the second time it will only do it for the fresh or new data which isn't modified so if it isn't modified or it is not a fresh data then you can next uh, make it to next data like to the next operation don't do the operation if below this if condition just go to the next operation this is the statement which I have written now first of all before making or creating the hash of the password we have to generate a salt salt is basically uh, the number of rounds you have want to uh, use in the hashing so that we can generate with the help of uh, I have to make a wait because it takes time so we have to wait for this operation to complete then we can uh, generate the hashed password that we can generate with the help of bcrypt which we already installed and then we can write gen salt there is a method called gen salt which is an asynchronous function that we can use it returns a promise that's why I'm uh, waiting for that promise by using this await and I can tell the number of rounds that I want to use so I'm hashing or generating the salt for 10 rounds so it will generate that salt and then I have to make use of the salt in the hashing of the password so this is basically the mechanism of hashing the password I can write uh, bcrypt uh, hash now and I can specify the password so remember our password is stored in this collection so this uh, schema basically contains our password I can specify user dot password so password will be the field and I have 
after that I have to specify the salt so this is our salt which we generated here after that what we have to do is I have to replace the password field the text password which was the actual text password into the hash password which we generated so this is the hashed password so it is it is the comp uh, like converted password from a normal text string to hash string after that after assigning it to this hashed password I can make the next method so I can run this me next method which will go to the next operation and our operations are starting from here only so this is basically that we are doing in this pre method after that what we have to do is we have to also create a simple method that we can make use of while uh, the user is logging in so whenever someone log in uh, logins basically so we have to check the password he and he has entered from the hashed password of the uh, database so in the database we have stored this user in the register right so when the person is registering so we are storing the password inside the uh, like uh, collection by using a hashed password like hashing them so we have to compare those password uh, by a method that we can use in the login uh, li like login route so let me just you make use of this and show you that how it works so I can name this password anything let's say compare password password and then after that I can name it a asynchronous function and I'll be receiving a password field here uh, yeah that will work let me just make it a simple anonymous function instead of an arrow function because it is an ES6 function right uh, then after that I can return bcrypt bcrypt dot compare so the bcrypt dot compare will compare the hashed password which is stored in our database and uh, the password which we receive in this method which is this password field so we have to compare both of them right so this is basically the case so in this I can write the password which is there and this dot uh, password you can see this is also suggesting us that uh, it receives the data which is our password and the encrypted string which is uh, this dot password so this is basically this schema this user schema it contains our password field so this will uh, return us true or false whether this password matches with the encrypted password which is stored in our database or not so these two methods or these two operations we have to perform uh, before uh, like this is for registering the password and making the password hashed and this is for basically comparing the password this method we'll be using when we'll be writing the login method so this will check uh, whether this uh, the user entered password is matching in the database or not whether it is matching with the hashed password which is stored in our database or not so this is it uh, now we'll be creating a simple register route and in the next video we'll be creating the uh, route for uh, like uh, route for uh, like uh, controller of that register route so let's do everything in the next video thank you for watching let's meet in the next video